Hi guys! I feel like it's been so long because I've been slacking on the vlogging. We haven't been in the kitchen in a minute. Welcome back, welcome back. I wanted to start this vlog before I got to my destination because I feel like it's only right. I did the LA vlog last year. We started off here, we started off with some shots, but this is a morning flight, so I don't think we're gonna do that. But we are going to drum roll please to dominican republic my country big dominican big dominican <laughs> is so crazy to even think almost two years the last time we went to dr was for paola's birthday i'm very excited i'm going with my family it's a family trip which is our first one in a very long time honestly i don't even have the memory of our last family vacation with both of my brothers from my mom's side literally this was like I was probably like six or something like it was probably like the disney trip because i have so many pictures of that trip it was definitely a disney trip i don't remember it i only have pictures for memories but um yeah my brothers are going my oh my most of my nieces and nephews my mom my dad my grandma like it's everyone today we're just gonna prep our last minute things i started packing last night I already packed up my makeup, I cleaned my makeup brushes, I did all that. So today we have a few things on the list to do. So I have to wax. I'm gonna like do my bikini line cause I got a wax recently. So I'm not like ready for a full wax. I have to finish my lookbook on Canva cause I always like to plan out my outfits so that I know. I have to go get face wash. We have to go to Ulta Beauty. We have to get safety pins. We have to get my toes done. Oh, I did my nails by the way. Yes. Oh my God, they look so good. This is inspired by Yayo Kusama. Um, it's a Japanese artist. She's a Japanese artist. I really want to finish everything early today because I want to be able to rest and just chill. Usually, like the way my packing and my flights go is like I'll wake up, I'll have like a 6 a.m. flight, and I'll probably fall asleep by like 3 or 4 a.m. So that's what we're not trying to do hi guys it is so much later and like i you're probably looking at me like girl you look tired i'm tired and i had a very emotional day okay i am pmsing very bad i shed a lot of tears today which means that my period might be coming literally tomorrow because sometimes the day right before is where i crash out and then she comes like it was all my fault. I am packing right now and I wanted to show you guys the cutest like toiletry bags that I got. So this is for my makeup. How cute Amazon. I'm gonna definitely link it in my storefront. My hair products are in here. And then we have this one. It has my brushes. So cute. And then um, we're doing pretty well. I pretty much got like all my clothes in there and like my comfy stuff and this side is my PJs. Also, I did my toes. Look how cute. Wow, why did it get so dark? Well, anyways. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep packing. Thank God I did most of it yesterday, so today I don't have too much to do. Um 
But wait, I want to show you guys my makeup bag because the stuff in it is just like, wow. She's really, she does this. <laughs> All the girlies want to be in this bag, okay? We have Milk Makeup, we have Giorgio Armani, we have MAC Cosmetics, YSL, we have everything. Makeup Forever, Rem Beauty, we have Miss Ariana Grande in here. We have a lot. I got, so I got Laura Mercier um, setting powder because I needed one. And then I got this Q sharpener because my sharpener is broken. Here is proof that I didn't just waste money. It's literally broken. So it comes apart. If I put this in my purse, this will come apart and it will dirty my purse. So we got a new one and now they're, it's pink, which I like. I wish I could give you guys like a makeup haul real quick. I'm probably wasting time, but I kind of do want to do that. Yeah, we're going to do it. I need, I'm just obsessed. Like it just looks like a party in here like tell me not like it looks so fun in there so we got um grip and glow primer by milk hydro grip primer hydro grip set refresh spray milk makeup jelly blush we have two different colors because you know two different vibes Giorgio armani blush all right my job for you is count how many blushes i have in here another Giorgio armani blush these are the ones that went viral i haven't tried it yet p louise blush so good love this one milk makeup concealer all over concealer we have one that's a foundation shade and a concealer shade rem beauty little glow vibes i don't know what these are i mean they're like for the eyes or whatever i actually bought this with my own money brand new hourglass concealer this is not laura mercier i lied i got the hourglass um powder pressed powder miss fancy skin foundation mac studio radiance foundation milk pore stick so like this is like to hide your pores nars concealer makeup forever face palette has literally everything that you can want so if i wanted to i can just take this milk makeup contour and milk makeup bronzer mac strobe dewy skin tint milk kush mascara milk eyeliner pseudo labs freckles say beauty star glow Say Beauty Blush, Rare Beauty Highlighter. I've been all in my phone, I got options. And I don't wanna tell you to trap me, but I don't wanna play your face. It's not a morning, guys. I gotta tell you about it. It's a little loud in here because like we're full of Dominicans. But yeah, my pancakes and my salami. I haven't had pancakes in like two months. This lighting is getting hot. Guess what? I hope you guys can hear me. Come to find out, I am a mosaic customer, which means. So let me show you. So my boarding pass is uh, See how it says mosaic. So I get two free check bags, right? Two. Just one. Two. And then my bags can be 70 pounds. Up to 70 pounds. Because you know the cap is 50. So it's free and I get 70 pounds. And I get to skip TSA pre-check. I get to go on TSA pre-check. Priority security. And then I also get to be the first one to board the plane. And apparently, according to Google, I get three complimentary alcoholic beverages on board. This is how you know you're on a Dominican flight. Bro, it is 
a sauna right now. It feels... Let me show you guys what the weather is right now. My upper lip is sweating. That's how bad it is. And my upper lip never that's, sweats. That's... But we're in the motherland. Guys, we're here. So we are at my brother's wife's family's house. Look at this view. They built this from scratch, by the way. Wow. Wow. Qué lindo. No. Real quick, before we continue with this beautiful, amazing DR vlog, so happy. Um, I do want to send my heart and my prayers to anybody that went through Hurricane Milton. Um, it looks very, very scary. I don't have family or friends that were you know in the dangerous zones but i do have a sister and a best friend that lives in florida they are okay which is great um not too much damage honestly but my heart does go out to those that were affected by it and um i'm praying for you guys i hope that you guys get a break because hurricane back to back it's terrible nobody deserves that but um it is currently 4 p.m which is so crazy because we just ate that crazy ass meal and i feel like it's bedtime but it's not um but i am going to lay down for a few and rest i'm getting some cramps um it's about that time my period is like four days late five days late at this point so i'm not pregnant but it should be coming tomorrow hopefully i just want to make sure it's gone before we go to santa domingo because once we go over there that's when we're gonna go to the beach and all that fun stuff i'll see you guys later i am so excited for this vlog like i'm so excited for the tiktoks i'm gonna vlog every single day on this camera and on my phone like the content is about to go hard thank you guys so much for watching this and let's get into this very iconic vlog so this is uh, what it's like uh, living in a uh, DR. Oh, where'd Wait. it go? <laughs> Bro, I look away for one second. No salta, verga. No, se lo va a matar. No. Te. Te va ahí. Espero que yo lo va a matar. Snipers hit their mouth. Guys, oh my god. Hey, 
so I have a cousin that passed away a few years ago and um, she passed away giving birth to her son she passed away after his name is Jacob are you guys are about to meet him I this cousin is like my sister I hold her so dear to my heart and yeah. Hola. I'm gonna show you my I'm honestly at this point he's my nephew because he's my nephew I made that decision now actually I made a revelation even though his mom was my cousin we were like this she knew all of my friends she lived with me like I lived through her she was the fun cousin and the older cousin and she was so beautiful rest in peace to my heart her son is my nephew and I made that revelation to him. okay wow what a roller coaster okay <laughs> we're gonna pick my outfit for the day all right um I don't since I have my period and I'm bleeding pretty heavy I have this outfit it's just like a calm two-piece, very calm, regular vibes. Or we have this is also regular calm vibes. This some jeans, but it's so hot. Or we also have a little dress moment. Which is very basic. Calm. I don't know. I think I'm gonna shower. And I'm between these two because I'm gonna be comfortable because I have like cramps and stuff. Yeah. Make sure you guys go show love on my Instagram pictures. <laughs> This is the outfit I decided on. Very cute, very demi very Dominican. Um, I thrifted this dress, so I can't even tell you where it's from. Hair's already frizzy, but it's okay. We're gonna go get lunch. And yeah. All right. ¿Cómo tú te llamas? Jacob. ¿Y cuánto año tú tienes? Eight. Wow. And what grade are you in? ¿Qué grado? ¿En qué grado tú estás? Pero va es que la puerta dejó abierta. Ella salió y dejó la puerta abierta. Third, good job. ¿Te abrió la puerta? ¿Tú sabes cómo decir vamos a comer? ¿Cuándo cojo yo para para allá arriba? How? Para abajo. En inglés. Para allá arriba. Porque es que yo tengo que seguirlo a ellos, ¿eh? Claro, tú tienes que coger para abajo. Yeah. Well, lunch. Almuerzo el lunch. Yeah, this is my aunt, the Ajusta. And that's my dad. They're twins. And we're going to lunch. Hello. Hello. I pray he pays for mine. It is with my table. And I preach it.
few hours, but it feel like days Only been days, but it feel like months Been gone for a year, only go like months Life move fast and you know what you want Look who it is! The Lincoln in another country. This Hi. is my first time being in Dominican Republic. No, it's not. Oh, it is? Yeah. Is your first time in DR? Mm -hmm. Wow. Right. Where's everybody else? Mm -hmm. Still wearing sweatpants. Hey. Hi. You look stressed. Yeah, it's not easy <laughs> to travel with the it's children. It's hot. Oh, yeah. Why it's so hot here? Who, who controls the weather? It's not even this hard. Um, it's a doctor, you know. Okay. Okay. Um, bye bye. Can I give them a house tour? Yeah, it's about to die. Yeah. So let's take a house tour before this thing's about to die. So I think this is like a little chilling room. These things are really, really, really comfy. I'm making a house tour for the camera. No, I'm yeah, you're happy. recording horribly. Look, I know how to actually record good. I'm gonna give you guys a house tour of where we're staying. This is my best friend's family's Airbnb. She did her thing. Let's try to do this in like 10 seconds. <laughs>
from the dead. You ever like, I was, I had cramps, okay? And now they're better. But now, you know, I feel like making a song called Fuck My Period, Fuck My Period, Fuck My Period, Fuck My Period. This should be really trying to take me out. I'm on vacation, leave me the fuck alone, bitch. Damn, you're not my dad. I needed to let that out. <laughs> Hey vlog, look at my outfit for today. It's giving DR. I feel like you guys never said hi to my vlog. Say hi vlog. Hey, what's up? How are you? Say hi vlog. What's up vlog? Did I get too close? A little bit. Dana, do you want to say hi? <laughs> you want to say hi? She's so excited. This mine? I'm so excited. Eat eat Leah. Where is Leah? Get that one from down there. Get that one. Leah. Leah. Oh, Anthony, I need a favor. You you see how crazy it is? How one one man do mental powers? What is the only name in this place? Hi guys. It's a glass gun. It has like water in it. I thought it was alcohol. I thought it was a piece of tape. <laughs> no, that's what I thought it was. And then I walked up to it. Real quick, I just wanted to talk to you guys about where we're at at this point. Um, disclaimer, I know I'm on the photo booth. I always see like YouTubers like add little clips in between shit just like when they feel like they forgot to say something. Um, which is what I'm doing. I just find it like, I don't know, it's like so raw and personable. But anyways, um, so this is where my mom grew up, this whole street and like the street behind that was like where she grew up. It's called Haina. And, you know, I also grew up going there, but this is where my mom lived. And um, so the woman that we're visiting is basically my brother's aunt but that's just by like i guess respect this woman is the woman that took care of my brothers and helped my mom raised raise my brothers at the time because my mom like was working a lot so this is tia, tia alta gracia and um you're gonna see my mom get a little emotional and we don't go into the house because as you can see like it is she lives in a lot of it's very poor in this area it's very like lower class and um it was just really sad to see i've never been to where she lived but i actually learned after this trip that my mom kind of is the only person that is there for my aunt tia altagracia um my mom is the person that sends her money monthly so that she can pay like the rent but like the rent is like ten dollars literally because she kind of lives in a shoe box if we're being dead ass like there's kind of no bathroom there's like no kitchen like 
and she's very old she's like 90 something so my mom sends money to like the neighbors that know my mom and they'll be the ones to cook for her and then my mom's sister is the one that buys the groceries for them to cook and they'll give her a meal a day because that's really all she needs um as you can see you're gonna hear so many dogs like imagine this small little tiny home that's made out of wood with like 10 dogs and i'm not exaggerating there's like 10 chihuahuas and that's why she doesn't open the door she does not come out of her house and it smells in there like a farm like it's really bad it is not good for her health and that's why my mom got so emotional because you know there's only so much that my mom can do um she takes care of a lot of like family in dr but just dr's living situation you know it's kind of a lot and also my aunt has no interest in like getting a better place she's old already like it is what it is but it was just really sad to see and i'm always blessed and i always feel so fortunate but you really see like why immigrants want to come to the other side of the world and get a better life because you know they're living a certain way over there and in this area there's not like a lot of jobs there's not like a lot of clothing stores or banks it's like a poor area so it's hard to like get a real job that you can actually like live off of um but yeah i just wanted to give you guys a little history about the area and um nonetheless like even when i was visiting there when i was younger i absolutely loved it like it was it's just so much culture and so wholesome i think is the word to say it's so humbling and yeah so enjoy Guys, I'm so pissed off. I have not ate since 8.30 in the morning. It's 9.30, 10 30, 11 30, 12 30, 1 30, 2 30, 3 30, 4 30, 5 30, 6 30. In 10 hours, I have not ate nothing. I'm losing my shit. My head hurts. I've only drank water. And I just got my braids done, so you already know that my head is on a thousand. I don't know what to do. Leah, what should I do? Uh, eat. I'm waiting for my food for like an hour now. I literally want to punch somebody in the face. Okay. Hi vlog. I can't go in the beach because I have my period and my mom forgot my tampon. But look at this. Look at this, bro. This is just wow. I mean, look at baby. 
Mia. So cute. So pretty. Okay. Este es mi tía, Nini, que es la hermana de mi mamá. <risa> tía, entonces, ¿quién, quién más? Mira, eh, ver, pues, Mañoña. Mañoña. ¿Y ya? Sí, Nosotros yo creo que, que sí. ¿Y entonces yo soy tu sobrina? Claro. ¿Y quién es tu sobrina favorita? Tú. <risa> no hay más. Ok. Hi, vlog. Ok, so, you might ask, Well, why am I home in the middle of this vlog? I forgot to vlog the rest of the... Just kidding! I'm just kidding. This is only part one, boo. You guys probably already know that because of the title, but this is only part one. Um, It's a long... It was a long trip. It was like 10 days. So this was like the first four days, five days, and we have another five days where we go to Las Terrenas, which is where like the beach town is, and we stay in a nice big ass Airbnb mansion. Like the next vlog is gonna be just as great as this one, if not better. Um, so yeah, this is the end of part one. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Like I, my heart is just so full editing this video like being in dr makes my heart so full and just makes me so happy and like now editing it is just like just warming my heart i'm just happy i guess i'll see you guys next week please 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 like this video make sure you comment what's your favorite part did you feel connected to me anyway if you're dominican i hope i did a good job at showing our country their beautiful sides to our country they are not ugly sides but you know every place has the pretty and the ugly so i really tried to show that thanks for being here i will see you guys next week love you guys bye